I had a phone call last week. Just a, you know, there's just an ongoing update, you know, from me to you on this one. Most of you know my story, and I'm so thankful it's not done. But, uh, you know, I had a dad who, who left my mom and I. It was 17 years of adultery and uh, a divorce, and he left my mom and I, and he got married uh, to the gal he'd had the relationship with, and I lost about a decade with my dad. Lost it. Because I decided to be judge and jury, and I decided to not only hang on to it, but hang on to it tightly. And I lost, I lost 10 years. And, and God's grace and his goodness and the encouragement of others led my dad and I to a point 10 years ago now about where the relationship was renewed and there began to grow a friendship I never thought we could have. And it is today a growing relationship that I'm extremely thankful for. And last week we talked on the phone about maybe spending part of Christmas together for the first time in 20 years. So you got a story. I got a story. People are dinging you left and right every single day. And my friends, we've got to be a people who will continue to let it go. Well, we need to be online with God 24-7. It's what we're designed to be, and that happens through prayer. Prayer is being online with God, and it's being a person who prays, that we praise God for his uh, person, for his power, that we renew our minds 24-7 for God's passion, his kingdom in our lives, that we would ask for uh, God's provision. That's the download first, that we would yield because of God's peace. And then finally, the, the final one is surrender to be spirit-led. Write that down, to surrender to be spirit-led. David says it this way, the Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. He fulfills the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cry and saves them. The Lord watches over all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. And this last verse is kind of like, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for every man. My mouth will speak in praise of the Lord. Let every creature praise his holy name forever and ever. I think the download that comes first here is God's protection. Because of God's protection, I surrender to be spirit-led when I'm tempted. Jesus said, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. A lot of people have asked me, well, it sounds like God might lead us into temptation. I said, no. In the Aramaic structure, it really indicates that it's saying, let us not sin when tempted, rather than let us not be tempted. Let us not sin when tempted, rather than let us not be tempted. So I asked the governor, how do you surrender to be spirit-led? Well, I simply try to quiet my, first myself, and then my mind, and uh, uh, wait to see. And I can't say that it happens on every occasion, but on many occasions, and especially if I've done a little bit of reading in the book um, uh, beforehand, um, a sense first of uh, serenity and some peace can come to me, a realization that the the step I'm contemplating taking, whatever the risks or downsides I'm worrying about, are not so important really in the grand scheme. And that's, and, and when I reach that point, I uh, generally am able, with a calm mind, to surrender to the, um, what I perceive to be the Lord's will. And again, recognizing that it may work out well, or not well uh, from my personal standpoint, but that's not the test at all. So would you be a people who would surrender to be spirit-led when tempted, realizing that God always provides a way out and his spirit is there? You know, I saw this humility uh, go through the governor and all these five things. I think that word came out or a, a synonym of that word continued to come out and it dawned on me, you know, that Christ is humble in heart. And David was a man after God's own heart. And so there's this, this heart of a leader that's really the heart of a servant that influences other people. And there's great power in that. And to be online with God 24-7 is how we were designed. When the governor got done, he said, Mitch, um, I'd have to say some of those questions I've never really thought of before. Those are powerful questions. He said, my alma mater used to be a Christian institution, and now it's really not. It's Princeton. And uh, he said, I had a professor there send me an invitation to come talk about how I integrate my faith in decision making. And I threw it in a drawer. He said, after this interview, 
I think I'm gonna get that out, run it by somebody like you, and go do that. A person who's online 24-7 with God can accomplish great things because it's, it's Christ accomplishing those things through that person. You know, I didn't buy the Motorola Q phone because of the cost and because I didn't think I was competent. It's interesting that Paul writes in 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20 that you and I were bought for a world record price. The cost has been paid. It talks about the spirit of Christ available to us now 24-7. That's how it was designed. And Paul writes in 2 Corinthians 3, 5 that our competence comes from God and it's the spirit of Christ and the spirit of God, his Holy Spirit that's available and in me to allow that wireless connection to happen 24-7. So why rob myself and others around me of that blessing? The cost has been paid and the competence comes from the same source. That's good. So stand and let me pray for you as, as we go and try to live this. And God, may it be so, may we be a people who are online with you 24-7, God, that, that each one of us would be a person who prays, that we would praise you for your person and your power that was came to us first, that we would renew our minds. We'd ask you to renew our minds, uh, to have your passion that came to us first for your kingdom advancement, God, that we would ask you for your provision. Your provision came before we ever had the opportunity to ask. God, that we would yield because of your peace downloaded to us. So God, that we upload, we would just yield and we would forgive and we'd let go and not hang on to junk. And God, that we, because, because of your protection, that we would surrender to be spirit-led. God, I'm reminded that Brother Lawrence called all this practicing the presence of God. May it be so with us, God. May we be online 24-7 with you and may you change the world because of it. May we be each a person who prays in Jesus' name. Amen.